So all of that is unfolding and happening right now. And Dr. Group there, developing products for us, was able to talk to a lot of these senior people and medical doctors and others about what they're seeing and what's unfolding as Oklahoma City Hospital isolates a patient exhibiting possible Ebola symptoms, as Ebola pops up in Spain and other areas from them bringing in these Ebola patients, never before done. But former Border Patrol agent Zach Taylor has divulged that the CDC is working with Border Patrol authorities and the Department of Homeland Security to literally disappear potential Ebola victims attempting to cross the border in the United States. And there's no news coverage, no paperwork signed. They're put in vans and disappeared. Now we confirm that there's huge forces of vans and guys in literal spacesuits, like in Hollywood movies, grabbing people. And the Border Patrol goes, where are they going? Sign the form. And they go, uh-uh, slam the door. Group's going to tell you about this. So they brought up Taylor. He was saying his name. I went, wait, we know him. Went and checked. He confirmed this a month ago. But this is currently going on. So we need to get back with those sources where they suggest we go. McAllen, Brownsville uh, in Texas, or do we go to the Arizona border? Do we go to the California border? We need to show this because... Because if they are doing their job, that's a good thing. But why would they be covering it up so there's not a panic? Undoubtedly, you got major African countries basically on the verge of collapse or collapsing. That's in the news, that, that term. African countries on the verge of collapse or are collapsing. You know, they're saying stay in your houses in Liberia. Don't, no public gatherings. I mean, this is, this is crazy. UN models, 1.4 to 5 million to get it by December. I don't know if that's accurate. But Dr. Group joins us to talk about this. In the interview, the 27-year Border Patrol veteran, Taylor, uh, was first contacted nearly three months ago in July. But InfoWars separately confirmed through other sources that the process was ongoing in the aftermath of America's first case of Ebola, which occurred in Dallas last week. They are literally grabbing people and disappearing them into vans. This is so big on so many fronts. Why would they be doing their job and doing this, keeping it quiet, Dr. Group? But then at the same time, and I want to hear it from your own words, you know, debrief you here on air. We'll have you into the next hour. Why would they be doing that, A, but B, then leaving the planes open to fly folks in, and now they admit they're not doing even the heat screening. They're asking, do you feel okay? Well, someone fleeing Ebola, or who has it, who wants treatment for them and their kids, they're not going to say, hey, I got Ebola, or hey, I think I got Ebola. They just want to live. I mean, all the other countries have sealed their borders. The other African countries have. So what do you think is going on here? Tell us what happened when you were in Vegas at this big trade show. Well... <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff going on that I didn't really know about, and that's one of the reasons why that I went to Vegas, because these, the scientists that were coming together there were all focusing on what can we do about this Ebola situation, at least a lot of them were. And some of these guys I haven't met with for years and years and years, but it was more of like a meeting of the minds and, and coming together to see what's really going on. And I was pretty shocked. I have like four pages of notes that I wrote down because... The stuff that I found out is not being talked about in mainstream media. It's you have the floor. Go, go through what the Border Patrol told you first, uh, what these senior agents told you, and, and, then, and then get into the whole list. Well, what, what, uh, I was shown a video of the guy that, that was talking about what's going on down at the border, and these guys know and have connections down there. And what they're saying is that people are being, that anybody with Ebola likes... They symptoms, were confirming, Taylor. They were confirming that never before has the CDC and the National Institute of Health worked so closely with Border Patrol, and that they were down there... Uh, grabbing individuals and putting them in vans and taking them to a quarantine location and at that location basically nobody knew, knows where they were taking them to nobody knows what they're doing with them I mean are they trying experimental vaccines on them are they you know taking their blood are they I mean who knows what's going on you know I don't know if my main focus is what we can do to educate the people about how to protect themselves. But at the same time, you have to get the information that's that's out there and then look at it and see if you can confirm everything. Um, you know, I just flew in last night and just this morning typed up all these notes so it would be fresh on your show today to share this information with all your listeners because it's important to know what's going on so you can come to a conclusion on what you need to do and, you know, what's really happening because obviously when the, the mainstream media is out there saying one thing it's it's something else that's going on at the same time so uh <clears throat> other things on my list that i found was that the cdc was getting calls from doctors all across the nation 
Uh, I had talked to a guy that uh, was, you know, heading up some underground stuff for Ebola, and he said that doctors are seeing patients with Ebola-like symptoms and calling the CDC, and about half of those calls are going um, unanswered, or the CDC is not following up on those calls. Um, you know, different changes that are happening with the CDC and the WHO changing up their website, basically saying that now, uh, you know, it possibly could be airborne, which we talked about before. But just think about it. I mean, if you cough, if you sneeze, those are droplets of bodily fluids. Uh, I talked to one guy that was uh, telling me that the CDC is now warning airline crews to start using masks. You know, why? why would they be warning people to use masks if it's not airborne. Uh, another thing that's happening is the government is cracking down on natural health care companies right now, too. I mean, there's a big attack on anybody advertising anything about Ebola. There's an attack on colloidal silver. <clears throat> you know, anything, they're, they're scouring the websites out there to see who's advertising anything natural against Ebola. But the thing is, I mean, the easy solution is just keep your immune system strong and you should be able to, to fight it off. Um, you know, usually with Ebola in the past, you have, this was another guy that was talking about how the, the transmission, you know, the indigenous tribes that are in the jungle usually get Ebola from eating monkey meat or something like that, and then they pass it to the city. But the strange thing about this is three cities at, at about the same time, uh, the Ebola was released in the city. So it's actually the, the mechanism of action of spread has been reversed. Instead of jungle to city, it's now city to city to city. So that was an interesting point because that would make you want to look at how all of a sudden did Ebola get released inside three cities at the same time. So that was a, uh, that was interesting. Um, Another thing that, that they were talking about, somebody had some friends at Emory University, and they said that it took 40 bags of medical waste a day from the three infected Ebola patients that were at Emory University. So you can imagine if three patients create 40 bags of medical waste a day, what would happen with 1,000 patients or what would happen with you know, 5,000 patients? I mean, there's no possible way to control that much waste. And the fact that there are only four hospitals in the U.S. that are technically qualified to handle pandemic outbreaks. And let's just go back. It used to <clears throat> incubate over three days. Now it's 21. The virus has just mutated off the chart. This, right. is, this is very suspicious. Yes, um, you know, the Ebola virus is kind of like the influenza virus because it will mutate. And that's a reason why, you know, I don't know how you're going to possibly come up with a vaccine with a virus that mutates like the influenza. But, um, you know, what's happening also is that if you look at what's happening in, well, the whole quarantine thing has just been completely taken out of control. We should have shut our borders to any type of flights. But another topic that was that we talked about was the fact what's going on with the military over there. Why are we sending military when we should be sending doctors? It's a pandemic. Well, they need doctors, not military. So what was reported back to me was it was kind of a drill to see how to quarantine for uh, medical martial law in the United States. Well, they're literally going door to door, the military, pulling people out that have Ebola-like symptoms. And our military is definitely going to get it. And then that'll be covered up. They'll use them for guinea pigs as well. And they're taking them to quarantine areas. And now the family, the families know this too. So they're trying to hide people. So that, that, what this is is a plan to see how they're going to react into the United States. It's, it's, it's to create a cadre here. brigade. That's why it's five thousand to come back and train the rest of the brigades. Yes. And now, what happens when you take everybody and put them in quarantine? Well, all this is how the economy uh, collapses real fast. Because how does the food get from the farm? Nobody wants to go to work if there's a quarantine and they can't leave their own homes. So you have distribution that's, that completely comes to a halt. You have food production that comes to a halt. The food can't get to the grocery stores. You know, every single worker, all the waste workers, the government workers don't go to work. And when you take everybody away from going to work, we're going to break. It, 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 the economy starts to crash. It means societal collapse level event. Dr. Ever Groups, our guest, Infowars.com, has the breaking news and the article is being expanded as we speak. Former Border Patrol agent, senior agent, CDC disappearing potential Ebola victims. It's currently going on.
Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. What good is a Big Berkey water filter. We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. On September 30th, 2014, the first confirmed case of Ebola appeared in the U.S. This combined with several other unidentified viruses have some of our customers at 30dayfoodsupply.com concerned about the safety of our domestic food supply, resulting in a surge of our $99.90 serving kits. While we at 30dayfoodsupply.com have no expertise in epidemiology, we are aggressively purchasing raw materials that are currently in stock and we intend to continue to sell our 30-day non-GMO emergency food supply for only $99 as long as we can. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then pass the savings on to you. Call 541-229-0010 and purchase our 30-day, 90-day serving emergency food supplies for only $99 and $10 ships your entire order to the lower 48. Visit our website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. 541-229-0010. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We have breaking news in the next hour. Turns out those FEMA coffins, CDC does want them. Put as many as four dead people apiece into them. That article's breaking at Infowars.com the next hour. Dr. Ed Group is our guest. We'll open the phones up in the next hour with Dr. Group. I'll just keep you the whole two hours that we've got left, or an hour and 30 minutes, 35 minutes now, if you can do it. Uh, Doc, continue getting into, you're at this big medical conference, doctors, scientists, epidemiologists, virologists, border patrol, pharmacists, uh, developers, chemists. You're there talking to them, and everything you're saying has already been separately confirmed. You were talking about how in Africa, they call them these community care centers, 
but really they're just death camps. Well, that's even been in the back of the news that they just take them and lock them up behind barbed wire and shoot them if they try to get out. But notice how they call them a the community care center. And then now this model being used on the illegals to just disappear them and not talk about it, that could be anybody next. And once they set that precedent of just go arrest this person, put them in a truck, it's compartmentalized. That can be the smoke screen for a political purge as well. We've always said a big bio scare or a bio weapon attack or a natural pandemic could be the cover for the takeover. One of the big ones. And now right on time, here it is. Dr. Group, continue. Well, you know, that's from what we're hearing. They're really just nothing more than death camps over there. But, you know, it's the media takes the, they're, obviously the media is not going to come out and say death camps over in Africa. So they're going to, they're going to call it community care centers. And so, uh, you know, it's the spin that you're getting over here that, you know, we're actually there trying to help and, and trying to contain this. And by the way, you do have to lock them up and, and things are breaking yeah. down. And sorry if there's not enough food or water, but, but be honest about the tragedy. Do airlifts of food don't just warehouse them and kill them where's jesse jackson when you need him yeah exactly um let me see some of the other because if it does collapse then they're going to spill out one of the other what did they had a southcom say three days ago we're going to play the video coming up they said they could get into south america collapse it it's going to collapse into us so are they beefing up the border what else i want to go back into your list dr Rubin. but what else did the border patrol agents say when you were watching videos and talking to them were they concerned you told me that, that they had confirmed and seen and talked to others that had seen exactly what he was saying and that they were literally pulling up in vans and suits and throwing people on the backs of vans and the border patrol would say well you got to fill out a form and they say no we don't I mean, I mean, break that down. What else yeah. did they say? That's pretty much it. I mean, the only other thing that they were talking about was, and I haven't confirmed this, is that Homeland Security restricted all of the ammunition to the Border Patrol until 2015. That was actually confirmed. No, no, that was mainstream yeah. news three months ago. Okay, so that basically they were just talking. Yeah, they won't about supply that, them. So, they have to buy it themselves, and they can't and they can't do their training or anything like that. And Homeland Security the has Shoot. almost three billion rounds now, but the Border Patrol can't have any. Right. Guys, type in Border Patrol uh, ammo shortage. It was, I think, Breitbart and AP. Go ahead. Yeah, basically what they were saying is it's just strange that the, the CDC and the National Institute of Health has never worked with the Border Patrol before. And then all of a sudden, now they're down there and they're just taking, you know, anybody with symptoms. That The border's just wide open. We know that. But they're trying to pinpoint people and they're just taking them somewhere. I mean... I don't know where they're taking them, I guess, to... Probably to deploy place. them to each school or everywhere probably, spread it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not kidding. No, I know. Probably to take them in different areas of, of the United States. And that's another one of the things that we were talking about earlier is the doctors are reporting that they're getting patients in different areas of the United States with Ebola-like symptoms. And these are doctors. I mean, the people I talk to are... are very, very well versed in pandemics, disease, scientists. I mean, these are guys that have been around for a while, just like me. I've been studying natural remedies for viruses, bacteria, pandemics, all this stuff, you know, for years and years and years. So, you know, really to give everybody solutions. So what they're saying is that, you know, they're... You know, these guys, these scientists are telling me and these doctors are telling me that their friends are actually seeing patients that might have Ebola-like symptoms and calling the CDC. And the CDC is getting about 20 to 40 calls a day. Like I said, I, you know, I don't know how to confirm that. I'm just relaying what I heard. Oh, I would imagine they're getting hundreds of false reports an hour with Probably. the panic going on in the country. But if they're bringing in Ebola patients and they've now spread it in Spain, if they're letting people fly in from West Africa, it's a guarantee there's going to be more cases. Mm -hmm. It's a guarantee it's going to spread i mean this is incredible how do you why do you think government's doing this well looking and analyzing what happened with the swine flu and some of the other h1n1 stuff like that i think this is um this is a test and it, it might be the big one i mean it might be that, that this is the one that they're really they set up all those government camps for if you look at every single piece of the puzzle you know the what's going on at the border all the camps that have been set up the fact stay that there let's come back to that when we get back yeah my gut has just been off the chart concerned the last year as everybody knows and Notice they're dropping the border. They're starting a war with Russia. They're turning loose Al-Qaeda. They're devaluing the dollar. They're shutting off the power plants. They're announcing our kids belong to them. They don't seem to care what we say or do. They don't care how unpopular they are. They laugh at us. Are they getting ready to release an airborne strain? I mean, there's no telling what they'll do. They're open exterminists. We're on the margins of secret studies that have been declassified. Hundreds of them that were, that were lethal. 
nerve gassing little kids, troops, giving uranium plutonium pills to pregnant wives of GIs, black people injecting them with syphilis, and then it turned out injecting people in the Appalachians with it, white people too, and people in Colombia. The globalists are just horrible monsters. That's why 36,000 top Nazis got brought over here at the end of World War II, because they were following eugenics that our own government was following in the scientific arena. Eugenics pretty much changed the course of history in 1851 when Galton invented it, the cousin of a bunch of the top scientists at the time, but uh, Darwin and others. And they developed social Darwinism, and that's what we live under. And so just be aware of it. Even if you agree with it, it's a lot of elitists and wannabe elitists who agree with it. Just know that it's happening and it's going on and sign on to it officially. Because the reason we don't trust the system is they've proven they're bad actors. That doesn't, we're not talking about a cop or the border patrol or a doctor down the road. Those are great people, nine times out of ten. We're talking about the central system, the main planners. <clears throat> and the morbidity rate is about 91% in Africa. Granted, the immune systems are lowered. It's, it's, it's society's collapsing, even industrialized areas. Here it's over 50%. You know, this guy that died in, in Dallas a few days ago, he uh, he had Western care. He reportedly had the Ebola, knew it, came over here. He died. And let me tell you, it is explosive. That's why it spreads so fast. It's not airborne, supposedly, yet. That just means the virus doesn't live and go through the air a long time. But it will live in a sneeze droplet, a mucus droplet, or, or a cough droplet. It will live if spit or saliva on the table. It will live in feces or other things for days or vomit for days. It can just live inside that little capsule, live inside that goo, live so roaches walk through it or, 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 or bats urinate or defecate and you breathe it. That's how they think it's really starting to spread in Africa. They think it's the bats. That would be the answer if it wasn't man-made. It's what most of the scientists are saying. Look it up. I'm not just saying that's in the Washington Post, you name it, that the real scientists are saying we think it could be quasi-airborne because it's not technically, but the bats are, go to the bathroom when they take a flight they, 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 the, the, in the air, and then you're breathing it. And if you even get a few thousand cases in the United States, it'll be total pandemonium. And I love my family, and I personally have been trying to get more sleep, sun, boost my immune system, eat healthier. Uh, there's studies out, study shows how exercise protects the brain from depression because it's oxygenating the cells. Dr. Group talks about that. So I want to get more into your list of what the scientists and doctors were saying at this big internal private supply side expo in Las Vegas, what the Border Patrol told you. But let's talk about Dr. Group because I've been following what you say for over a year now with incredible effect. I mean, people that see me in person, TV puts 10 pounds on you, but I, I'm still... 20, 30 pounds overweight, but I was 80 pounds, 90 pounds overweight. I mean, I almost have no pot belly anymore just with the Survival Shield, nascent iodine, X2, exercise, more purified water, the DNA force, the super male vitality that's got all these compounds known to just, I mean, I mean, what it's done for me and my virility is amazing. But what are you doing specifically for your immune system? What were the other scientists and experts you were talking to? What's the cutting edge right now uh, for folks out there that are researching this? Well, pretty much everybody's in agreement. You know, what, you know, planning is what needs to be done. Everybody, uh, families, just have a plan. You were telling me you're getting more storable food during the break. Yeah, storable food, clean water, things to purify your water. What the NIH, the WHO, what the, the medical and government is not telling people to do is looking at natural alternatives. You know, they're not telling you to use iodine to purify your water. They're not telling you to use silver to boost your immune system. I mean, they're not telling you to look for natural ways out there because what they want to be able to vaccinate you. My big question is, and one of the questions we were talking about is, what could it, because with this, they, you wanna see, you're gonna probably see with the executive order, a mandated vaccine. So the question is, you know, most people out there are just they just can't wait. You know, they're they're already fast tracking vaccines that are supposed to be ready this week. They're starting tri human trials on on twenty different humans. And my question: Bella is, Melinda Gates are involved. Monsanto. I mean, hello. Sorry.
Yes, um, and another subject I, I, I want to get into is the rabies uh, Ebola vaccine, and that's currently in the works by the NIH and Thomas Jefferson University with GlaxoSmithKline, Ugh. and that's scheduled to be finished with fast tracking by the end of 2014. And you remember what happened with the fast tracking of the swine flu vaccine, which was given to like 30 million. Which it turned out was a simulant released the year before, uh, basically an attenuated virus, totally fake, lowering your immune system by 50 percent. Canadian government study right and now you have a lot of the children have developed narcolepsy and there's all kinds of brain uh, deformations because of that vaccine on record and GSK yeah they, they, they were sued three billion dollars for that uh, and and lost the lawsuit but uh, what what everybody's talking about internally is you know why this is going to take place and really what to do in case it spreads in the United States and that's have a plan to get out of a well populated area you know have some land somewhere you know, they were worried that possibly the borders would be closed, which I don't know if that's really going to happen if they want it to spread. But have a good supply of clean water, clean food, and your immune system have enough stocked for your family of some of the natural things that are available that work uh, for different types of organisms. What are you doing specifically for yourself? What I'm doing is I have a place to go that's, you know, kind of close to a national forest where I can just get out of there. I have clean water over there. I have clean food. I have clean seeds to grow my own stuff. I mean, I have masks that I can use. I'm not really worried about it because I know how to strengthen my immune system, but I have a good supply of iodine. I have a good supply of silver over there. And that's really, you know, the, the, the two things that I would focus on specifically. I've got a good supply of oregano oil over there. Oregano works really good. I've been taking that. And, um, you know, all the supplements that we usually talk about, you know, I've got uh, the DNA force to protect my cells, to protect against free radical damage. You know, when your immune system goes uh, berserk and you have a virus, then you're also going to have, you know, the attacking of the virus by your immune system. If your immune system's strong, I've always been a believer that we have the strongest medicine inside our own body. I mean... The first place you should look is inside and ask yourself, is, am I clean? I mean, 75% of your immune system's in your gut right there. If your gut is healthy, most likely your immune system's going to be able to attack and destroy any type of invading organism. Oxypowder, InfoWarsLife.com. I've got to say, that's your most amazing product, I think, overall you've developed. Because you guys finally convinced me to do it. I didn't get that the oxygen tablets released in the guts. Unbelievable compared to Kaido Sand or Roughage or those uh, herbal stuff that would like burn not this it's just just absolutely pleasant and flushes you out i mean dynamite yes uh you know talking about ebola but there's so many other things that have to be yeah i'm just out. talking about flushing my guts out period yeah right i mean but when you look at just the intentional dis destruction of the society's guts through processed microwave foods, through aspartame, artificial sweeteners, all the chemicals, the GMO. The BT in all these f crops that has its own pesticide that admittedly kills our flora. Right, and that's you reducing everybody's immune system right there by 75% because they know that 75% of the immune system is in the gut and they know the gut controls everything. That's why they never report so, on it. They take your appendix out. What's a good probiotic? A uh, probiotic that I use is called Lateroflora, and then I also recommend, uh, I don't sell the product, but it's a product by Garden of Life. It's called um, Primal Defense Ultra, and that you can get that at Whole Foods. You know, I've tested a lot of probiotics out there, and the ones that I, I just put people on those two with the oxy powder and that pretty much takes care of the majority of gut issues they have of course i want to get them off of gluten i want to get them off the things that destroy your gut yeah, i want to be mind. clear folks from sunshine to clean water we're promoting a lot of stuff that we don't even sell because th this is the real deal i'm here asking questions for me uh because i want my kids to be healthy i, I want my family to be healthy you're right. The GMO foods, get them off of that. Then again, reduce your stress levels. You know, stress is linked to a, a deficient immune system by 50%. And then, you know, have a preparation plan so, plan so you're not in a state of fear. All well, exactly. Time. I've got the farmhouse to run to. I've got the wall. And again, it's not that I was living in fear. If there was a 5% chance this could happen, I you know, was somewhat ready. Uh, and then as it gets more and more clear the globalists are destabilizing civilization, more and more I'm going to just accelerate getting prepared because we see government and corporations digging in, building underground bunkers and the Ozarks, you name it, like it's the end of the world. Joel Skousen.
We're going to get him on this week to get his take on all this, guys, or next week or Sunday or Monday. He, he says he's never seen elites buying bunkers and, and, and hidden redoubts. And, and it's in the news. The rich are all you know, running to private islands and stuff. Why? What do they know, Dr. Group? Well, they know, I don't think all of them know the, the real plan involved, but they're, the, you know, if they know, the, why, they know the world's going in an unsustainable direction. They, they definitely know that. And, and with this, it's hard to tell what's going to happen with the Ebola uh, situation. But it's been verified, like you said, that the, that the Homeland Security, the CDC, they have the coffins. They have all the underground facilities. You know, they know that the Ebola can mutate into a very out of control situation. And they're telling where, us everything's fine, though. They're telling us everything's fine. That's uh, when you know you're in deep trouble. But, you know, if they were fear mongering, I'd feel good. You know, like, oh, okay, they're just fear monger. But the fact that they're, everything's wonderful, everything is awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, like they have everything under control. And then you look at, like, the movie 28 Days Later, which was an Ebola rabies virus. And now they're looking at crossing it. And right, well, there's a link between, and this is this was what, one of the things we also talked about with one of the uh, scientists um, that has been doing uh, research with Ebola and rabies. And basically, he was saying there's a link between the Ebola and the rabies virus because when you combine the Ebola with the rabies, one of the uh, rabies strains, it gives you zombie-like symptoms. And he was talking about that. Well, that was why, even in mainline science a month right, ago. Yeah. Right, and that's why they were doing drills. You know, in case we have a scenario like that, it doesn't like turn you into a zombie. But, but you act like a rabid dog that exactly. can give people Ebola. Exactly. Which is basically a zombie. And the rabies Ebola vaccine, that's the one that they're doing the trials on that they're fast-tracked for 2014 with the NIH and Thomas Jefferson University. They're working with GlaxoSmithKline. Oh, my God. And they're scheduled to be done with trials by the end of this year with the, with the rabies Ebola vaccine. Oh, boy. Now, why would you, why would you start giving people a rabies uh, Ebola vaccine for a supposedly Ebola strain that's out there affecting people right now. It could there be a mutation when when you line up millions of people and well, shoot that's them what with the rabies. That's Ebola? what the you know, top brain surgeon medical doctor. Uh, just last week, Dr. Blaylock was saying, he says it's been proven that it's causing bacteria and viruses to mutate, that the vaccines are doing that. Right. Right, that's, that's the scary part of it. If you inject millions of people with a rabies Ebola, knowing what happens when someone con you know, contracts rabies Ebola or when you mix the strains together, uh, that could literally create a cannibalistic you know, zombie-like society and th that's uncontrollable and that you would have to shoot each person, which, you know... You know, then what are you going to do with it? Like you said, the Ebola can live in the body fluids for a long time. I we mean, now learn in semen for 70 days. And, you know, think of all the things people sneeze on, they touch, someone else walks by. Think about money alone. I mean, someone touches money. Think of how many times that changes hands. They don't have sterilization procedures in place for money. Um, the bathrooms, the public water systems. I mean, yes, probably there's so many chemicals in the public water system anyway that it might kill it. But um, if it mutates into airborne situations, do you have a plan? See, the, the scary thing is I would like to quarantine my family. In my, myself, but if, if they're coming door to door, military, and going through your house like Nazi style, and, and then that's perfect cover. This is just on a list. Go ahead and pick up Doctor Group and his family. Doesn't matter if you're not showing symptoms. Plus, you might not want to be around a bunch of soldiers that just rousted 500 houses that week who've probably got a bowl of themselves. Yeah, they're just the soldiers. Well, are just going to spread it. Yeah. Well, now you're a terrorist. Right, and then, and then I'm going to be taken away from my family and put into a government-controlled camp somewhere. We know those camps. Well, that's why MSNBC was bitching last week. They said, we can't do door-to-door -door stuff during Ebola because of the Second Amendment. And that is a point. Well, they can. I'm not going to any FEMA camp. Under martial law, they can do whatever they want, though. Yeah, but the people, it's going to blow up. Uh, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to blow up. I mean, I... You know, that's why they're they're trying to con do the gun confiscation and everything else, because they don't want the people to turn on them. But I think, you know, just like what's happening in Africa, like we were saying, this is a test. The people in Africa are turning against them and starting to fight now. They're trying to hide their family members and everything, because they know if you go in, you, as soon as they pull you out and take you to a quarantine location, you're, gonna get it. you're done. I mean, what are they going to give you?
They're going to experiment with you on all kinds of vaccinations. They're probably going to, you know, if you do survive inside the quarantined area, then they're going to use you as an experiment. They're going to be taking your blood and spinning it and, you know, looking at your DNA. That's right. The globalists are crazy scientists. Everything they do is, is, is an experiment. Man, group, you know your stuff. Uh, briefly, I want to shift gears uh, into some of the InfoWars, uh, health.com, InfoWarsLife.com products. InfoWarsLife.com, the DNA force, the super male vitality, the survival shield nascent iodine X2. Uh, we're sold out of the silver bullet. We got a whole bunch of it though coming in about a week and a half. Uh, I mean, obviously, I personally am trying to cleanse my body, but it's ongoing, separate from all of this. Tell folks a little bit about DNA Force, why it's so special, and the X2. I'll, uh, yeah, I will talk to you, but you brought up a good point because one of the things that the scientists were talking about, and I actually talked to somebody that <laughs> said that secretly the government is buying up to 6,000 gallons. They want like 6,000 gallons of silver a week for stockpiling and, and inside information with different agencies that are trying to stockpile a lot of silver. Is it true that there was an army study about colloidal silver? There was a study done in 2000, I think it was 2009 by the Department of Defense on Ebola and silver and they, it was declassified and you can actually pull that article up. Why don't they want people talking about it? Just anybody, they're so... Exactly. I mean, why? It's just like we've had cures for cancer for for you know fifteen twenty years, but you have to go outside the country to find them. You know, it's you know the, there's so many things that can eliminate all disease from everybody's body that are not being talked about, that are not being shared, and that and that brings us to the next point, which is the DNA force, which you wanted to cover and how effective that is at supplying your body with high levels of antioxidants and high high levels of. Like Linus Pauling said, vitamin C too, just stuff off oranges at the store, uh, b blueberries. I mean, people just need to eat a lot of healthy stuff. Most people have what they need to survive in within a half mile radius of their house. The majority. Of Amazing. Knew what the plants were. Stay there. Let's come right. Back. Back with Dr. Group next hour. Your calls for Dr. Group. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. In school today, that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it too. Yeah, I'm thirsty too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Tell folks how you got introduced to Super Male, and then when Super Female came out, tell us what happened. After I saw such a huge positive change in my husband, I had to try it for myself. Talk about the effects. I feel great when I wake up in the morning. I have drive to go to the gym. I feel like I look better. I feel better. I feel sexier. I love it. Even if you don't believe in supplements, take the challenge. Get a bottle of Super Male, a bottle of Super Female. Check it out for yourself. Consult your physician. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. This is life-changing. Digestive health is key to wellness, and Pro-EM-1 is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a daily liquid probiotic that improves food absorption and supports weight loss by removing toxins from your system. Recommended by doctors, Pro-EM-1 is 100% natural, organic, non-GMO, wheat, soy, gluten, and dairy-free. Call us today at 888-611-8025 or visit ProEM1.com to save over $25 on your order. That's 888-611-8025 or P-R-O-E-M-1.com.
Nanoparasites, termed viruses, infect the iron poison population, for they require a host with iron to replicate. Parasites are propagated via the food and water supply and through vaccinations. Those born after 1945 have the vaccine parasite set to activate now due to unprecedented iron intake. Officials prepare for pandemics because they know the vaccine parasites are activating on a mass scale. This is the extermination plan, people. For further information, go to unveilingthem.com. U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Unveilingthem.com. We're going to open the phones up in the next hour for your questions, your comments on Ebola. Bloomberg's reporting Ebola's next stop may be Ivory Coast as World Health Organization prepares neighbors. Neighbors who've sealed their borders, how dare them be racist? We can't seal ours, we can't stop the flights coming in. Amazing. Before I go any further, you've heard the rave reviews for the entire line of InfoWarsLife.com products. And these are things that we're hiding in plain view. The highest quality, purest, strongest nascent iodine from deep earth crystal sources, not seaweed sources. We're talking hundreds of millions of years old. Lowest price as well. Super strength. InfoWarsLife.com. Across the board has done so much for me and my family, the whole body. It's something you got to have. The government used to mandate it in salt, and they took it out. And then they mandated the bad halogen fluoride. I mean, that's an obvious conspiracy right there. There's no doubting it. That's available at InfoWarsLife.com. We also have the DNA Force. That's $12,000 a kilo just for one ingredient in each bottle. And it's got a whole bunch of ingredients in there as well that it's on record in the patents and the literature, flushes out the cells, regenerates and helps the mitochondria, lengthens telomeres. This is the type of thing with the toxic environment that I personally have been doing. I take like six tablets a day. They recommend only two. Now, the super male vitality, all the known concentrated compounds to you know, really get your glands going. Uh, InfoWarsLife.com, and the great part about it is your purchase of the products makes this whole transmission possible and promotes free speech as well. We're listener-supported, not government-supported like NPR or MSNBC. I didn't know they were supported. I was just going to keep hammering that till the cows come home. So going back to Dr. Group, tell folks specifically about X2, the nation iodine, and about uh, why you were telling me specifically DNA force is so important to the immune system. I mean, with all the research that we've done over the years on iodine, it's just one of the things that I think every single person needs, not only for water purification, because of the fact that we're all suffering from endocrine disrupting chemicals. We're exposed to different chemicals all day long, every day in the food, the water, the air, and thyroid problems. Thyroid problems are just increasing day after day after day. Pregnancies, mental retardation, you know, the calcification of the pineal gland that's going on, the children that are being born with mental illness or not fully deformed, uh, fully formed brains. There's so many conditions that can be tracked back to iodine uh, deficiency inside the system. So uh, it's we can officially say when the federal government mandated it be put in, IQs on record went up 15 points. Listen, I mean, that's, that's like New York Times headline. And, you know, talk in kind of linking that to Ebola. I mean, remember about, I think it was six months or a year ago where the uh, Department of Defense or the military put out a request for something like 300 million doses of potassium iodide or something like yeah, that. Yeah, guys, type in iodine uh, study, uh, IQ boost. It's like AP, Reuters, Business Insider. I want to just show TV viewers that. So listen, all those underground facilities, they're stocking up on iodine down there, and they're stocking up on silver. They're not stupid. They know, they know the things that are resistant to practically any type of bacteria or microbe or anything that's, that can affect the human body. They know how to strengthen their immune system. So, and plus, those are very inexpensive ways. Ways to do that. So, uh, when my arm was chopped open one time or my finger was cut off, they just poured that medical iodine all over it. Right. That's what they do. That, that, yeah, because it's strong, you know, antimicrobial. But uh, talking about just a majority of negative health conditions out there from, I mean, from energy to infertility to sterility to not being able to to function mentally, to stress. I mean, you name it, you can probably link back iodine deficiency Absolutely. to one up. Guys, punch up my computer. You just put in iodine and the IQ. Uh, Discover Magazine, how adding iodine to salt boosted America's IQ. The effects of iodine on intelligence in children. NCBI, 
uh, iodine deficiency, Wikipedia, Business Insider, iodine effect on IQ. Go read them. We're not making this up. We're not making it up. Infowarslife.com, X2, the incredible source of the true nation iodine. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Found a group, found the deeper source. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We got a lot of other points we're going to be going through here today. But Dr. Edward Group are taking your calls on Ebola, giving you the latest on that and so much more. G. OP set to dominate in the midterm elections coming up. Looks like they'll get the Senate in the House. Most polls show. CBS, those putting out disinfo, saying shows Democrats ahead. Well, the Republicans don't deliver on liberty this time. Both parties are done, and all the numbers show that. I want to take some phone calls. The toll-free number to join us for Dr. Group is 800-259-9231. And in the interest of getting to a lot of your calls, we're going to try to move through them quick. 800-259-9231. Dr. Group, let's go to Kelly in Texas. Kelly, thanks for calling in. You're on the air. Uh, thank you so much for taking my call, and God bless you both. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on this Ebola, and I've read that where, of course, you've already said collateral silver is a good combatant to take. And also that I read, and I wonder if Dr. Group had heard about the, this, uh, a uh, natural ingredient found in, in foods that we eat is called selenium that could also help. And also, it's awful, it's awful uh, blatant that they bring patient zero over here right at the beginning of the inocul flu inoculation season and that it, uh, Ebola uses the immune system against itself. That's how it works. Therefore, bringing down everybody's immune system, 50% that takes this flu shot, and I also wanted to ask if Alex or you, either one, heard about the shipments of collateral silver that were sent to Africa and stopped before anybody in the United States had it, and then it was sent back three times and never arrived in Africa. Uh, Dr. Group, thank you, caller. A lot of great points, Kelly. Uh, actually, I know the people that sent the uh, silver over there, and they had already contacted some doctors in Africa to do some testing. They sent it over there. It was flagged. It was stopped by the government. It was not allowed into the country. Incredible. And uh, I, can, I can definitely verify that uh, story for you. I, I mean, because then it's something that some pharmaceutical company can't patent. Right. Even though pharmaceutical companies are on record are coming out with all their other patented silver stuff. Yeah, they can't sick. patent it. There's no money in it. You know, it's, uh, it, it does, to do silver the right way, it takes a long time. And really, the, the best form of silver is going to be a high, produced using a high volts, voltage AC current. Um, so it, it's definitely something that I would put at the highest point on the list. You mentioned selenium. I would also say zinc. You know, selenium and zinc are really good for the immune system. You should stock up on those as well. There's a lot of different things out there. Vitamin what C. What fruit is the best overall to just give you a lot of stuff? 
Uh, acai, fruit, um, you know, I kind of look at readily available things, you know, and seasonal, but any type of, uh, any type of live organic food that you eat, especially if it's picked really fresh off the tree is going to do your body a lot of good. It's going to provide you with the nutrients and it's going to provide you the enzymes and all the stuff that you need to support your immune system. So it's really more... But Big Pharma says food. that's not true. All we need is Big Pharma and shots every day. It's a conspiracy theory that we even need good food or even oxygen. In fact, they're now saying oxygen may not be needed and that's a conspiracy that all we need is GlaxoSmithKline. Well, it's just like the USDA and the government approving uh, Dow's new uh, herbicide uh, yesterday, the day before, the 2,4-D, the mixture with glyphosate after there was 80,000 scientists that wrote in and, and all kinds of congressmen, too, to try to get it banned. And, and what do they do? They, they approve it. So, you know, the, the design is for them to create these chemicals, create these endocrine disruptors, create all these things to actually cause you to become ill, cause your immune system to go down so they can go on the back end and prescribe you medications, you know, doctor's visits, stuff that addresses, doesn't ever address the root cause, only addresses the symptoms and causes you to be in a dependency state to sure. depend. Everything they do is about the welfare, all of it. Be dependent on them. Don't teach you how to fish, but give you fish, tainted fish. We'll be right back with Dr. Group, your phone calls. Uh, Karen, Anonymous, Jay, Bridget, Peter, your calls are three minutes away. I'm Alex Jones. PM Central, that's 5 to 7 Eastern, 2 to 4 Pacific, 3 to 5 Mountain, with the live syndicated Sunday transmission. I want to take just a mass of calls in this third hour and intersperse it. Uh, with some other breaking news at the bottom of the hour on a new contest we're launching to expose the Ebola threat, to expose Obama as a false deity, a false god, and to pull down and desecrate that god of political correctness. We're also going to look at angry protests, target wealthy whites, vandalize homes, burn U.S. flags, assault reporter, call for officers' death. The streets of Ferguson were literally on fire last night, and it spread into St. Louis, Kurt Nemo has a story on Infowars.com uh, pointing out this could blow up big time over the weekend. Uh, we're also going to have our reporters down on the border uh, investigating uh, the CDC, scooping up people that are ill and showing how it's wide open. Because Jay Johnson it says that it's not wide open. So we're going to go prove that he's a liar. Oops, he might get me. He's a big thug. I have no free speech. Yes, I do. Even if you say I don't, I'm going to exercise it. So that's all coming up. Dr. Group, we're about to go right back to the calls, but other points that you may have forgotten to make before we go to Karen and others. Um, well, I mean, no really other points that I, except for the fact that we just need to watch this whole Ebola thing really closely to determine, you know, what's going on. My, you know, I try not to be fearful and, and try not to create any fear mongering or anything, but my probably my greatest Fear, if you want to call it a fear, is if we get to the point where they're coming door to door and they're quarantining because then you're, you're helpless unless, you know, there's a mass revolution and we, you know, resist that. Uh, but, I mean, for them the, to have the ability, they already have the executive orders in place. I mean, literally, with a, if you're showing signs of respiratory illness, they can... They can, you know, quarantine you. Obama you, expanded that three months ago. You know, take you to wherever the local, you know, whatever the closest camp they have set up is. I mean, that's, you know, that's probably my biggest situation because then I'm I'm stuck. I can't do anything for myself. You know, I'm, I'm stuck in a situation away from my family where, you know, I might just have to just get out of the United States. If that's even possible, they might lock down the borders. I mean, I've had calls. You know, a lot of people call my office just saying, what do I do? I mean, are, am I going to even be able to get out of the United States? <laughs> like, By the way, since you mentioned that, we haven't played this video clip. I'm going to play it and then go to phone calls. We reported the text of this three days ago when it first broke, but now the video is up on Infowars.com. The commanding general of Southcom, you know, the world split up into regions, Ebola outbreak in Central America could cause mass migration to the U.S., now Southcom is in the news today saying it could be in Brazil right now. We know it's in Spain and other areas because folks are running from Africa mainly across west into the Americas. 
And so, um, boy, I tell you, that is that is not some good news if that is the case. Let's go ahead and play a clip of the commanding general, General John F. Kelly. Here it is. Back to the Ebola thing, I'll just tell you a story. I was down in Costa Rica a couple of weeks ago talking to our uh, embassy personnel. One of them relayed a story to me. They were standing on the border between Costa Rica and uh, Nicaragua, which is not really a border. I mean, it's all free flow. If you don't have a, the right papers, you can just, uh, for a very small amount of money, move through the border. But there were uh, five or six black guys that were there at the border waiting in line to pass into uh, Nicaragua and then on the way north. And the embassy person walked over and just asked who they were. And they said, well, we're from Liberia. Uh, been on the road about a week, and we're on the way to New York City, illegally. So they're on the network. They had flown into, I think, Trinidad, and then met up with the traffickers, and now they're on the way in. Uh, they could have made it to New York City and still be within the incubation period of, of uh, Ebola. So I go back to this issue, and I've highlighted this, uh, this issue in, in Washington that if, if it, there's an outbreak in the Caribbean, particularly or in Central America, it will, it will make the 68,000 unaccompanied children, I think, look like uh, a small problem. General, thank you for that. That General, is just General, chilling. General, and you see guys like him that are shooting straight, and then you compare it to the head of the CDC or Obama saying there's no big deal, everything's fine. I mean, what planet are they living on? I don't know what's going on at the, the World Health Organization, the National Institute of Health, the CDC, the Homeland Security, the FEMA, you know, all of them, it's just like they, they don't even know what the other one's doing. I mean, you know, it's just a complete nightmare. I mean, there's, there's no organization. Uh, they're not even taking the proper steps to contain the waste products, uh, you know, put, you know, the, in the, just the guy that died in the apartment. They sent the kid, uh, one of the kids in the apartment to school. Uh -huh. so it was okay for him to go to school. Didn't clean the ambulance. They're, they're not, uh, you know, they're not wiping anything down. I mean, this it, guy's spraying bloody poop everywhere, vomiting blood everywhere. I'm sorry to be gross. I mean, these people just explode stuff, and it's just all oh, no big deal. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised, Doctor Grip, if he hadn't spread it in Dallas. Yeah, I'd be surprised too. I mean, we'll see in the next couple of weeks. I mean, you know, really, we're going to see what's going to happen come about the first of December, maybe mid-November. I mean, that's going to be the the telling. Because if it point. starts spreading, that'll start happening in the next week. It's just twenty-one day, but then the government will try to cover it up. The government will try to cover it up, but if, you know, we were looking at all the different vaccine trials and everything, and everything pretty much ends to, you know, or starts so they, at so the it looks scripted. of the year. It looks scripted. It does look scripted, yes. So, I mean, everything, and as a matter of fact, even in 2003, the New York Times reported uh, that there was some Ebola vaccine a test oh, going I remember. on in 2003. Well, when, Bill, when I saw Bill Gates' name back then, I said, look out, here comes Ebola on air. Right. I mean, it's just pure evil. So it's not like, you know, they haven't been testing Ebola vaccines. They've been testing Ebola vaccines and owned the patent on, the, on Ebola strains for a long time. You know, and they prepared us with movies like Outbreak and Ebola and all these 28 Days Later and all the zombie movies and all this other stuff. So, you know, it's conditioning of the mind and then seeing how far we're going to take it, you know, doing test runs. Yeah, because they're clearly trying to have plausible deniability with open borders and the planes still come in. They clearly want it to spread. Right. I mean, there's no debating that now. But they're always going to test every. You know, they always test everything in these African countries because, you know, these are poor families, these poor environments. No one's ever, you know, there's not a lot of media over there. It's not going to get out. It's kind of secretive. It's like testing. You know, it's like giving black people syphilis. Nobody will believe if they complain. Just shoot them up. Just you know, just. Right, and a lot of the testing goes on, you know, back in the jungles in Africa, you know, the originally with... That's the, where the Pentagon's got the testing facilities. Right, the HIV testing a long time ago, and the AIDS virus, and all that stuff, and Ebola, all that's usually tested in these jungles in somewhere in Africa. Uh, something tells me we're not going to hear about this from Al Sharpton, though. He's too busy race pimping. Well, uh, Jesse try Jackson's to help. talking about it, so. Oh, Jesse Jackson says it's racist that this guy didn't get treatment. No, that's what hospitals do now. They just turn you away. Well, the thing is, all of our hospitals are already full anyway with all the degenerative diseases and the flu-like symptoms. I mean, and now people, you know, especially around Dallas and, and, and all throughout the United States because of Ebola, if they get a cough and a respiratory uh, situation, which is actually going around now because of all the, the contaminated the vaccines. vaccines, 
you know, how do you, you know, there, there's no room in any hospitals right now anyway. If the, if the Ebola thing takes on and it starts to become a real pandemic and people start coming down with it, there are no hospitals to go to, people. There's, you know. This is crazy. Let's go to call. camps. I mean. Let's talk to Karen in Florida. Well, what's wrong with the camp? Don't be racist. Karen, you're on the air. Welcome. Right. It's, it's, it's not a camp. It's just a, a care center. <laughs> it's Hello? loving. It's not a death panel. It's a loving. Uh, but yes, go ahead. Oh, hi there, Mr. Jones. Welcome. We're five five year listeners, and I just wanted to let you know that we also have the nascent iodine, the oxy powder, and we also bought the water system. Well, thank you, because that funds our operation and their quality products. Thank you, ma'am. Totally awesome. And uh, what we wanted to know is um, the gloves for money. We know that uh, the American dollar travels all over the place. And we're starting to wonder when would be a good time to start using gloves for cash or, you know, what are we going to do in a case like that? And also, well, I think that's a good point. If it really starts spreading, you wear a mask and gloves. But wouldn't the Ebola down a few minutes on money? I think you're talking about somebody who has it sneezing on it or having it in their hand, passing it to you at the register. Right, Dr. Group? You know, that's a, uh, that's a good question, and there's a lot of uh, controversy out there right now. It's one, one of the things we're trying to figure out is how long does the Ebola virus live in fluids? Like, let's say, for example, you go to an ATM machine and you have the Ebola virus. Well, your body fluids are going to touch the, the uh, little pad, the keypad on there. How long will it live? Well, there's a lot of different factors. You know, is it going to be in contact with direct sunlight? Because if it's in contact with direct sunlight, it'll probably kill the virus. The money. Right now, you know, the reports from scientists that I've talked to are coming back saying anywhere from five to 20 days up to 70 days, what you were talking about, that the Ebola virus can live in bodily fluids outside the body. Now, we're coming up on winter, too. So if you, you know, since you're in winter, since a lot of places there's not as, as much sunlight, it's natural that people's immune systems go down over the winter months. They're not exercising. They're eating Thanksgiving meals. You know, they're eating more sugary things. That vitamin D, B12? Uh, they're lacking B12. They're lacking vitamin D, you know. So... You know, it's a perfect storm, really, when you think about it, because all these things are coming together at once at around the same time. So as far as I, I don't have an accurate answer, but I can tell you that I would just say that the Ebola virus could possibly live in fluids outside if it's not in direct sunlight. Sure, they're saying it may be going airborne. When we have right, right, we don't know, ma'am. We'll yeah. try to figure that out. But it's, it's definitely serious because the government is like trying to aid and abet it, basically. And by the way, they do make gloves that have that are made. Well, we got to go to break. We I'm going to break. We're going to go back with Jay and others. Storing thousands of airtight coffin liners in Georgia that they basically call mass cremation devices. We have all the documents on that. This is what the CDC is out currently buying right now. I remember I did a TV show with Jesse Ventura about that. We probably need to add that video. Just it's the, um, you know, Georgia coffin episode. I forget the exact name. We should probably add that to it. But uh, right now, let's go to your phone calls. Jay in Delaware, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello. Yep. Hey, how you doing? Uh, thank you, Alex and Dr. Brew, for your dedication. Thank you, brother. It's an honor. Um, my question's for Dr. Group, and I'll take my answer off the air. It's going to work. Um, what would you? What supplemental re re regimen would you recommend for someone who has hepatitis who does not want to do the interferon treatment? Well, what I would recommend is you find a good doctor in your area, maybe somebody that has experience with uh, different types of IV bags, ozone, um, ultraviolet blood irradiation, uh, somebody that can work with you that has experience in, you know, utilizing some of those compounds. Uh, my personal experience, you know, just some of the things that uh, we've used to help support people with hepatitis R, oregano, a silver, iodine. Um, I'm not saying that that's, you know, obviously I can't state anything, you know, that would work on any disease because I've already been, you know, raided and almost arrested and thrown in jail for making claims. But uh, those are things, uh, it can definitely be 
worked on effectively if you find the right doctor in your area no doubt about it and the interferon that they give they give in such high doses that it's it's really not it can actually be damaging to the body uh, there was a company in switzerland that was producing a low level interferon product that we used to use with some really good success but uh, another thing out there that you might want to look at is called mms it's called a miracle mineral supplement and read up on that as well and again, though, I mean, no, no doctor can sit there over the air and specifically diagnose somebody. Got to do tests, got to look at them, but um, thank you so much, caller. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Anonymous in Oklahoma. You're on the air. Hello, gentlemen. How are we doing today? Good, brother. Thanks for calling. Hey, uh, i got two things for you. I've got a source that works at the hospital here in Oklahoma City that they uh, recently, I heard you speak about earlier, saying that they were being tested for uh, the Ebola virus. Yes, sir. That's well, in uh, CBS News. Report Oklahoma City Hospital isolates patient exhibiting possible Ebola symptoms. Go ahead. Uh, my source on the inside says that uh, she worked, they worked there in, in admitting there and said that they have, uh, this individual has been, uh, tested it came back negative good she's under under a psych evaluation because this individual had said that uh she was exposed had uh intercourse with an individual who was who had thought they had ebola and they took no uh they didn't take any precautions yeah there's gonna be a lot they of craziness that comes out of the scare as well exactly and also one more thing alex you know how you've talked in the past about how they project what they're going to do before they do it, whether yes. they do it in movies, films, you know, uh, the pain in Colorado and the airport there. I don't know if you guys have been watching this. It's a show on FXX called The Strain. Uh, it is a new take on a uh, vampire story by Guillermo del Toro. He's doing it. The symptoms of these people when they're infected by this vampire, they uh, have muscle spasms and their eyes turn red. The CDC is involved in this show. They are completely incompetent. There's one individual in the in the in the storyline who has seen what's happened. He's trying to wake other people up, and they've basically said he's killed people, and they've tried to turn the media against him in this show. And it's basically projecting 101. I mean, it is it's spooky how the similarities are, and this whole storyline takes place in New York City. Looks like a pretty scary show. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, let's talk to Peter in Washington. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Dr. Group. Go ahead, uh, sir. Hi, Peter. You, you can hear me. Um, I, I buy uh, your product, and I wanted to ask about a couple of other products that I take, if you don't mind, okay? Yeah, we're not uh, screening your call, bro. You're, you're on air. Yeah, uh, TA-65. What do you think of it? Uh, TA-65, I, I think it's a great product. I mean, it's one of those products that has a lot of research behind it. It's, a, it's for those people out there that don't know what it is. It's a very expensive product that increases, that's been shown to increase telomere length. And, you know, that's that's part of the anti-aging mechanism. Isn't that what body. DNA Force and does? That's, and that's what DNA Force, well, DNA Force is designed to prevent cellular damage, which leads to telomere shortening. Ah, uh, all right. It's nutraceutical. Stay there, caller. Finish your question when we come back. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Info Jones Wars. and the GCN Info Radio Wars Network. You've heard about the essential qualities of iodine when it comes to your well-being, and you've read the opinions of top experts regarding this good member of the halogen family. Still, reports indicate that iodine is absent in sufficient amounts from the daily lives of countless people worldwide. Now, our extra strength new nascent iodine formula is here, Survival Shield X2, leading the way into the next generation of super high quality nascent iodine. InfoWars Life Survival Shield X2 is derived from 200 plus million year old salt solutions found more than 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface. The result is a unique nascent iodine that is both concentrated and free of unwanted additives, genetically modified ingredients, and completely vegan. We even pre-screen our Survival Shield X2 iodine for radiation. Pure, clean, and sourced from deep within the Earth, X2 nascent iodine is available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139.
After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Tell folks how you got introduced to Super Male, and then when Super Female came out, tell us what happened. After I saw such a huge positive change in my husband, I had to try it for myself. Talk about the effects. I feel great when I wake up in the morning. I have drive to go to the gym. I feel like I look better. I feel better. I feel sexier. I love it. Even if you don't believe in supplements, take the challenge. Get a bottle of Super Male, a bottle of Super Female. Check it out for yourself. Consult your physician. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. This is life changing. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, I'm going to go to a lot of your calls now. I want to get to a bunch of them, but just boom, get your questions out. We'll try to get you the answers or, 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 or your points. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Two things I want to hit first. Uh, one is this... FEMA coffin story now confirmed at InfoWars.com with the CDC. We always said, why are the coffins there by the CDC? You know, why did they attack us when we covered it? Well, now we know. And the media would make it about the poor folks that owned the property they were stored on, like, like we were blaming them. No, we weren't. We were just pointing out what these were being used for and, what, and why the CDC was storing them. But before we go there, um, they've had different media organizations and MSNBC come out and say that it's racist to call Ebola, Obola. And I've been saying that for weeks. You know, the term Ebola, many other people have. We're also seeing pop-up bumper stickers and signs that say uh, um, Ebola, but with the Obama symbol in the middle of the O. Well, we've come out with a $7,500 contest. It's going to be an accelerated contest, only two weeks long, then one week to judge. Usually I take months. You, you know, you get a month to do it and a month to judge. We're announcing it today. It'll the contest will end in two weeks and we'll have the winner on Halloween. October thirty first, first place five thousand dollars, second place two hundred dollars, third place uh, five hundred dollars. <clears throat> but everybody wins because you go print off the posters we've made or make your own poster. Exposing the false, politically correct deity, Obama. Exposing collectivism. Exposing the open border. Whatever spectrum of that you want. Use our posters. Make your posters. <clears throat> send us your posters. We'll post them on Facebook and Twitter and places. It's about showing the power of the people. We've done some of these contests that have become huge national news stories. They've all been very successful. And what you do is you shoot video of it. And then you put it on YouTube. We link to the different videos. People watch them by the millions. You know, big videos get seen a million times, small ones, 5,000. So what? That's a big deal. You go out, you get involved, you hang posters in legal and awful areas. Could be on your own barn, your own business, or a commons area, you know, where they hang rock and roll posters or church posters or, you know, dog show posters and nobody cares. But then when you do, they'll go, ah, it's horrible, man, and arrest them just to show how they want to violate free speech. When that happens, and the local news covers it, then they try to shut down free speech. More people do it. It backfires on them. So, Obola, and we'll do a document cam shot and show people here. Two of the posters, we have the files up on Infowars.com. 
uh, in the article on the homepage that we're going to tweet out right now and post to Facebook. Um, in fact, I saw them with the contest page about an hour ago, so I don't see it on Infowars.com yet. So we'll get that up on Infowars.com right now, or I guess it's not in the featured news area, uh, or maybe it hasn't cached yet off the cache into my uh, my computer. But just we'll get it in the features, top story, this contest, uh, and I'm going to give folks the headline on the article right now, pound signed Ebola contest. Tyranny is the disease. Get engaged in the battle against tyranny with InfoWars' latest $7,500 contest. Ebola uh, is uh, racist to criticize that they're leaving our borders wide open. Tell him to halt flights from Ebola-stricken hot zones. Close the open borders. Download our posters or make your own. Shoot video of yourself posting in lawful places. First place, 5,000, right down to 500, third place. Submit entries by Friday, October 24th. I will announce the winners on the show on All Saints Eve, I guess you'd call it, or All Hallows' Eve, Halloween, October 31st. And again, then we'll dole out and post the videos to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to tweet this out, that Ebola is a disease. Right now, with a link to the article at Real Alex Jones, please retweet it. And then again, the big glossy posters are a great way. Pound, tyranny is the disease. Hashtag, tyranny is the disease. Make that trend. Help expose it. And then it says, secure the open border, Infowars.com. And on the top, blasphemy against what Jamie Foxx says is Lord and Savior. Obola, Obama, halt flights from hot zones now. You want to get a campaign? So even if they let this spread, if this got big enough, they might back off and do something about Ebola. Or, or Obola, excuse me. Because, again, they want to just do this and not have us pay attention. You heard Michael Savage saying Ebola could be the way to bring them down. Stuff like this can capture people's attention. Get involved. Get this out to everybody you know right now. And, again, we'll take this live video of what I'm talking about here on the radio. We'll edit it down today, have it on the nightly news, put that out as a viral video over the weekend to Infowars.com. Help stop the spread of Ebola, or Ebola as it's uh, also known. Uh, this is how we counter their tyranny. So get these posters, get them out. Don't procrastinate. You can win the contest, but regardless, you win by taking action. Dr. Group, what do you think of this contest? Well, I think it's a great contest. I think as many people, I mean, that listen to the show should get involved in it. And uh, it's just like that's what we do every single day is answer questions about and tell people how to get involved at, you know, stopping this. I agree with Michael Savage, actually, because, you know, this could be the takedown of the globalists. I mean, look at the military they're sending in. What surprises me is that the, the, the military personnel they sent in to Africa did so with no resistance, uh, you know. Well, we don't even know that. They wouldn't tell us. Yeah, if I was in the military and they tried to send me into a hot Ebola zone, I don't know if I would. And I'd you were in Army Special Marshall. Operations. You would have said no? Uh, well, I was pretty brainwashed back then, so I don't know what I would have done. But I, I would definitely say no now, that's for sure. I mean, I get military personnel calling me all the time saying that, you know, that have problems. I've got a guy in Houston that's breaking out in all these weird rashes and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, they use them as guinea pigs. You know, so, uh, so yeah, I would, you know, get as many people that can get involved and start telling people the truth about Ebola and what's yeah, going on. I mean, on I almost don't even want to offer money in the contest, but that makes it fun. This isn't fun, it's war. In fact, I'm going to go out Monday, uh, or maybe even today, uh, and I'm going to hang up a bunch of these posters around town, you know, as a promo video for this, but it's about you taking action and, and, and tying the president who's leaving the borders open and letting the flights come in to the Ebola. So they get the blame. They may back off if they see that you're giving pushback. But if we lay there like jellyfish, they'll walk all over us. New story up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. CDC mandates hermetically sealed caskets for Ebola victims. Revelation follows report of CDC storing thousands of airtight coffin liners in Georgia. The CDC has instructed funeral homes to bury Ebola victims in hermetically sealed caskets. That's what we told folks five years ago. A potentially disturbing revelation given reports the federal agency had previously purchased thousands of airtight coffin liners which were being stored in Madison, Georgia, outside Atlanta. 
Uh, Yahoo News report reveals how the CDC is instructing funeral homes that remains should be cremated or buried promptly in a hermetically sealed casket, which must be secure against the escape of microorganisms and have valid documentation for being airtight. Dallas Institute of Funeral Services Administrator Wayne uh, Cavender said the CDC is worried about an epidemic, but the type of caskets they were recommending were not airtight. These in Georgia are, ladies and gentlemen, and you've got more from your sources. They're calling them a cremation box, right? They're calling them multifunctional cremation containers, and there's actually a patent on that. You can probably bring it up. There was, uh, uh, it was, a, I can't remember what year it was patented in. I think it was in the There 70s. it is, multifunctional cremation container uh, and for cadaver, and it breaks it down, uh, U.S., Patent number zero uh, eight slash zero six nine comma nine eight zero nineteen ninety five. Yeah, the thing with Ebola patients is whenever they start getting close to death, though, it's the violent diarrhea, the violent vomiting, and the in the in the violent fluids. Rachel Maddow. We don't call we don't talk about bloody diarrhea. It's called it's called a Rachel Maddow. <laughs> they have violent Rachel Maddow. Right. So, I mean, if you think about really how to contain it, it would be almost to the point where you would have, before the patients get to the point where they're uncontrollably bleeding. Before they go to uncontrollable Michael Moore. They really need to be killed, like, before, you know, this is what they're saying, is they need to be put in some sort of a casket or possibly quarantined or in some sort of a room with other people, because that's when it really becomes a problem, is towards the end, when they're losing body fluids everywhere. So... You know, the reports... Hey, they say let everybody in. How about we send all the Ebola patients to the White House? Well, there, you know, there you go. I mean, who knows what the White House is, you know, the, obvious, the White House isn't doing anything. I mean, Obama's holding meetings with all the the uh, African leaders and everything right now or up at uh, Martha's Vineyard for a long time. It's just like they don't care what's going on, obviously. They're not out there talking about it. And, you know, the organizations that are supposed to be holding the quarantines and helping people out aren't doing anything about it. It's all about fast-tracking vaccines and having something ready by the first of the year. So, I mean, you know... You know the predictions. I mean, they're 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 predicting that in January there could be one over a million cases of Ebola. One point four, yeah, yeah one point four million five. cases. So, you know, it's just more of a reason to start taking responsibility for your own health, start cleaning yourself out, start. I totally agree. Let's let's go to calls now. I've been hogging the time here, ladies and gentlemen. Real fast, ask your other questions, Peter from Washington. Okay, uh, this this product I won't tell the brand is mitochondria energy optimizer and they keep uh, bringing in new ingredients the question i have they they do have bio pqq there is 10 mgs enough daily well, yes. I mean, what we've done with the DNA force is we've taken all the, we've already done 15 years of research on what the best anti, you know, graceful aging supplements are, stuff that are going to protect the root cause of aging. See, companies out there are, you know, you might be addressing one thing, you might be addressing another thing, but what we're doing is addressing why the telomeres are shortening, why the, the cells are, are replicating faster than normal. And all that is due Due to too many toxic chemicals that are surrounding the cell and the extracellular fluid or chemicals that are getting inside the cell. So our approach is, you know, the, and, and we have the bio PQQ and the DNA force, is to address the root cause of cellular damage. And the root cause of cellular damage is too much, too many chemicals and too many free radicals. And that's why the antioxidant levels are there. That's why bio PQQ has been proven in clinical trials to help uh, stimulate nerve growth factor. That's why, right that's why you. myself and others, if you have damaged nerves, my torn Achilles, a hand that's been broken, a finger that's been chopped off, I noticed when I started taking it, those areas got numb, and then the feeling came back more. And then in my Achilles, it's now like electrical, and some of the feeling came back, but it's frankly quite weird and scares some people, and I get why. This is psychoactive. This, this, this is real nutraceutical. I mean, we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get the stuff that goes in it. They have to, like, sign deals with Mishibishi and everything. I mean, this is not a game. This is the real deal. It's the real deal, and I don't know what product you're talking about, but I mean, it's it's not about just one ingredient either. It's about combining six or seven or eight or nine proven ingredients that all work Co-Q10, uh, trans-resveratrol. I mean, look, there's there's probably 20 different types of resveratrol out there, but there's only one 99% pure trans-resveratrol, you know? And it's like our bio uh, PQQ and all this. This is organic. This is the, the you know, manufactured America source. Right. I mean, 
this is all of the ingredients that go into this product, DNA Force, especially have you know years and years of clinical studies and research behind them. So they those all are all together. linked on InfoWarsLife.com. In fact, to be technical, people should go there and read what's patented. It, what we are allowed to say. No, other people don't aren't allowed to say this because the, they don't have this stuff. This, this is real stuff. Uh, thank you so much. We got to move quicker through the calls, folks. Chris and Mass, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, advocate some of the products that uh, um, that have really worked for me. I'm a professional musician. I sing and, and uh, play guitar and gig out all the time. And since uh, you had Dr. Wallach on the show and some of the Longevity products like Tangy Tangerine, I haven't had a cold in, in like two years. And, uh, you know, it's just tremendously helped me. You know, not only that, I used to get heartburn, uh, acid reflux all the time. And, and uh, through listening to Dr. Wallach and... Uh, you know, using uh, digestive enzymes, probiotics, and now the the oxy powder is real pretty much cured cured that for myself. So I just and it's real simple. You know, Wallach and the organic Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0 from InfoWarsHealth.com. You know, he's saying you need 90 things, uh, trace elements and minerals and vitamins. Well, the government's saying only a few, uh, like we're a plant or something. And so, of course, stuff like that. It is just so incredibly health. Uh, I mean, it's been life changing for me. That the uh, the iodine. I'll, to, to give you a funny story, I used to have in a. I don't know. Ever since I started taking uh, the iodine, I had this embarrassing. I play guitar, and I had used to have this embarrassing wart on my middle finger um, that I could not get rid of. Uh, whether I try to freeze it off or or whatever, and uh, since I started taking the iodine, it just the thing just magically disappeared. I mean, it, my immune system is just so much better. Well, it's look, incredible. I mean, if I'm no doctor or scientist, but from all the literature I've, I've read, it's simple. If there's basic deficiencies, if you don't have oxygen, you die. Uh, if you don't have vitamin C, you get scurvy and die. If, if you don't have iodine, you will die. And they just keep lowering the level of what you need until someday, I guess, the FDA will say zero. And it'll be a thought crime if you say you need it. And this is not rocket science, what we promote here. We just promote what we believe is the purest, most powerful, ancient source, crystal source, when everything else is seaweed source. Look, the other stuff that we, and it's great, doesn't turn into a gas in a Petri dish on a hot plate. The stuff we use is so pure, it, 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 it's not called aerosolizing. What's it called when something gasses? It's called sublimation. Yes. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it looks like a purple ghost or something. I mean, this stuff just goes into your body. I mean, I don't want to go into details here, but what came out of my skin? Uh, I mean, I wasn't tanning before. I was just burning. Now I get really good tans, less sun. And, and now it doesn't happen anymore because I guess I've detoxed. Just stuff just poured out of my skin. Well, iodine's used for every single cell in the body. And it's, you know, it's your skin, your endocrine system, your neurological system, all, any type of cysts. It's, you know, when you're... When you take away, the, the big thing is with extra, extra iodine is it blocks the absorption of the harmful halogens like chlorine, fluoride, and bromine. So really what you're doing is uh, hopefully, you know... So you're not just getting what you need, you're blocking the bad stuff. Exactly. I mean, hopefully everybody's learned enough by listening to your show to avoid fluoridated water. Sometimes you can't, though. I mean, look, all the drinks out there, too, you know, the, the colas and stuff, those are all made with fluoridated water. There's so many other sources of A lot of foods fluoride. have it added. Chlorine is out there, the bromine is out there, and breads. I mean, if you eat at a restaurant, you're going to get fluoridated water. Look, go to any coffee shop in the United States right now. You know, I'm not saying any names, but you know the most popular ones. They use tap water to brew all their coffee. So when you go in for your latte or whatever, your venti or your, you know, whatever, all you're doing is, you're, number one, you're taking the coffee beans, which are heavily sprayed by pesticides. And so you're getting pesticides and then you're getting the tap water in your system. So by you taking the a proactive approach of doing this is what, what we're trying to get all, you know, people to do, take a proactive approach. Listen, to I set about to find out what is the hiding in plain view, most powerful stuff that they don't want people to know about and understand, but that the elite are taking. And that's what InfoWarsLife.com products are about, 888-253-3139. And, you know, a couple times a month, we, do, we cover news, but also cover some of these products in depth because that's how we're funding the whole platform to promote Rand Paul and to promote the Second Amendment and to promote controlling our borders and to promote sovereignty and to promote free market is we're sharing with you things that we really believe in.
women are powerful. I'm going to do a segment of Overdrive, too, because I want to get to everybody. Evan, Lucy, uh, Carolyn, John, and others. We got Carolyn's a retired nurse. We got John on high fructose corn syrup. Lucy wants to know about Dr. Group uh, and uh, you know natural ideas. Uh, Evan's up next, has a question on Ebola. I'm glad because that's mainly what I meant when I opened the phones up for you. Everybody's talking about the products. That was not intentional. Uh, but thank you for the nice reviews, callers. Uh, InfoWarsLife.com. I really changed my life. Hi, Alex. First time caller. I just want to say I appreciate your show very much. Appreciate you. Uh, I am less. I am less afraid of Ebola. I am more afraid of the government response to Ebola. I agree. Uh, and and kicking down our doors and hauling us off to the FEMA camps. By the way, of which I just discovered or heard that we have another FEMA camp that I was unaware of just just south of Phoenix here. And you know we have a lot of FEMA camps here in Arizona. So that that is scary. And by the way, when I I speak to I spoke to a couple of federal agents over the weekend and they they get it. Most of the people I talk about I tell them we're living living in pre Nazi Germany uh, or pre World War II Germany. Well, that's the thing. I'm always over the years bashing the feds and people uh, and never really the military, but they were training them to take us on. But it was that training that woke them up. Cops, feds, and the military going in the order of. Military cops and then feds. Feds not so much. They're more brainwashed on power trips. But a lot of them, compared to the public, they're more awake. Doctor Group, isn't that exciting? Listen, when all of the you know the federal, the high level federal agents, and even people in Parliament and the royal family in Europe, they all know, and they I know because they some of them call me. I actually had people in the royal family fly to my office that had cancer under strict confidentiality uh, to get treated. You know, to do the stuff that we were doing when we had our before our cancer clinic got raided. Well, that so, even leaked out in the news later down in Houston. I remember. Yeah, it did, and uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you could pull up I mean, the the cases, the FDA that have tried to you know attack me. What's well, on record that Hollywood me. stars plug your oxy powder? Right. I mean, you're right, big. You're a right. successful guy. Right, and they, you know, high level military. I've had people from you know organizations that aren't even listed. Black ops stuff uh, come to me for broken bones. I had people when I had my clinic, uh, CIA, CIA, FBI training facilities that would come to me for high tech treatments when they you know broke their arm. They needed to heal it within a certain you know two weeks or whatever. So, no, they know. The high level officials, they know where to go. And it's not the hospital. I mean, you know, they know that the they know what's going on with the medical system. They know what's going on with the pharmaceuticals. They know now uh, if they have some sort of a, a lot of times with acute injuries, emergency situations are hospital. Anyways, I was rude. That's a great point. But anyway. caller, what was your other point? I apologize. Yes, I, I have a specific question for Dr. Group. Actually, two questions. Dr. Group, I have my family uh, oil of oregano. Uh, in fact, I just placed another another order for a survival shield today, and uh, colloidal silver at, at 240 parts per million. I've got uh, uh, boys, elementary school age, and of course my wife and I. Can you make a recommendation as to what dosage amount I should be giving my family of those three items uh, in preparation for for something so virulent as Ebola? And also, second question. I've heard the N N95 mask won't protect us from Ebola. So what should we be using as a mask? Well, you know, that's that's the million dollar question right there. Um, they have a recommended mask. I forget the name of it. It's one with a bubble over your face. Yeah, it's it's a it's a biological filtration mask. And uh, from what I've heard, there's you know there's some people are selling on eBay and Amazon. Uh, you might be able to pick some up uh, there. Some of the military style masks. Uh, do I think you know is that really going to protect you? I think it's going to be better to get in a forest somewhere where there's high oxygen levels that the, the virus can't survive. As far as the, your your questions about dosages. I'm not really allowed to talk about dosages, uh, but one thing I do for oregano oil that I've found uh, really kicks in your immune system is about nine drops All three right. times a day. Nine drops three times a day. Thank you so much, uh, you Evan. Are We're going to come GCM. back and take a few more calls on Overdrive. Visit I want to thank all of our affiliates and today. sponsors and listeners and the good Lord above and the crew. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball... Oh, 
Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Little Planet TV. You've got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Coast to coast. Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, and now live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. With Dr. Group, Martin Armstrong warns a Mad Max event is possible. We have a great convergence coming. Zero Hedge at Infowars.com right now. And we can punch that article up on screen for folks. Jam in a few final calls. Quick question, Lucy. Thanks for holding her on the air with Dr. Group. All right. Lucy's gone. Let's talk to Carolyn in Tennessee. You're on the air, retired nurse. Yeah. Hi, Alex. Hi. Can you hear me? I'm on speaker. I can change to non speaker. Well, whatever. Just go ahead. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've gone into a room in two or three days, and then after that, they tell me the patient's got tuberculosis and we need to use a mask. You know, the people don't have to be admitted with a diagnosis of Ebola. They could be admitted with a diagnosis of something else. Yes. Nurses are going to be going in and out of those hospitals and taking that with them. And then I'm wondering, they don't like it when we call in sick. They don't like it one little bit. So they're going to want you to come in anyway. And... So you're coming in and out. Now, what, when it gets really bad, are they going to start forcing the nurses and the other staff to stay in that hospital? Are they going to say, no, you can't leave? They they will definitely uh, require the healthcare workers to get vaccinated with the new Ebola vaccine. There's no doubt about that. I mean, but the thing is that it, you bring up a good point because that's another a subject we talked about uh, at these meetings I was at this week. There are healthcare workers, registered nurses, nurses, everybody in the hospital that have been calling for training. They feel like they're not being trained. They haven't been trained on how to deal with this, how to protect themselves how to deal with potential patients that are coming in and they're calling um, the CDC and getting together and trying to round up training because here you have the potential for a pandemic and you have healthcare workers first of all like we said four hospitals which are really you know trained to handle this type in, of in thing a, uh -huh. and now you have all these healthcare workers all over the United States and all over the world that haven't been trained on how to handle. Well, here's another Ebola. point. It just hit me. If they'd have shut down flights from West Africa a month and a half ago, like England did and France, this guy would never have got here. Right. I mean, it just shows they know the default position would have stopped this, but they don't care. The question is why. God bless you, man. Appreciate your call. Only got time for one more. Uh, Jennifer, sorry to Dave and Bill. Uh, let's go ahead. Well, I might get to Dave, too, but Jennifer, real fast. Go ahead. Um, my question was um, Dr. Group's uh, thought on diatomaceous earth. Uh, diatomaceous earth is great. I've used it for as long as I can remember. I've given it to my pets. It helps, you know, I've never given my pets any type of heartworm medication or anything like that. Those are the little... skeletons of diatoms. Yes. Now, it's just important on where you get it. I use Permagard. I mean, they're OMRI listed. It's a good company. And, uh, yes, I have used it internally. It's, it's great for specifically worms, but uh, it also helps uh, clean out your system. All right, got to jump real fast. Thank you, Dave in Florida. Last caller, go ahead. Hi, Alex. Uh, I hope you're doing well. It seems you're doing well. I have a question for Dr. Edward Group first uh, regarding the super male vitality. Um, if you can just give me a quick, you know, maybe uh, one paragraph explanation 
on uh, why a young male like myself at 25 uh, would be interested or should be interested in taking uh, a supplement uh, like this. Well, there's so many estrogen mimickers out there already that uh, that you may not know. I mean, you won't know till you take it. But I would challenge you to get some. It supports the broadcast regardless. And I just took some more when you mentioned it. Because let me tell you, I notice it when I don't take it, uh, especially in the morning. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dr. Drew. <laughs> it just really depends on what you're exposed to and what you have been exposed to for your whole life. You know, we start really seeing a hormone decrease in men right around 25 to 28 years old. You start seeing your testosterone levels go down, DHEA levels go down your growth hormone levels go down so and at the same time we're exposed to all these phytoestrogens and we're in an estrogen dominant age hey sorry out of time dr group thanks for spending two hours with us great job great job with the crew if you want uh, welcome on the nightly news tonight seven o'clock but thank you so much for your time pray for america pray for africa pray for the world for peace and for this ebola uh epidemic to stop god bless you all the government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel